Hey, Ray Dalvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com, and today I'm going to go through a handful of ChatGPT prompts. If you're a WordPress user or freelancer, you're going to like this because it lets you learn way faster and also be more productive. So I'll start with a real simple one. I'm going to get the outline for a landscaping website. Now, a website like this is pretty simple. You could probably guess what kind of pages they're going to give you. You've got homepage, about page, services, portfolio, gallery. They go into each of these, give you more ideas for what you could put on those pages. And if you're a web designer who lands a new client in a niche, this is a lot easier than going through and researching a bunch of different websites to see what they do. Next up, we can look at a task that pretty much every person who installs WordPress eventually goes through, and that's choosing a theme. So I'm going to put in here that I'm deciding between two WordPress themes, Divi and Beaver Builder. These are two very popular visual page builders. So I'm asking to provide a comprehensive pros and cons list for each of them. And it looks like this pasted in on a new line. Let me just hit the back button there and put this all on one line. I don't think it's going to make a difference either way. Now they're giving us our pros and cons for Divi. And now we have the pros and the cons for Beaver Builder. This should allow you to make a decision quicker. For what it's worth, I found both of these themes through my subscribers. I was using an older theme when I first started on YouTube. And I did a survey of you guys. And you told me about Divi and Beaver Builder. I've never tried Beaver Builder. But I made tutorials on Divi and Elementor, and I prefer Divi. And just some of the reasons here, you can see within the pros lists, it has the most powerful page builder out of the ones that I've tried. And the big selling point to me was the lifetime license. You get to pay one time as opposed to having to pay every single year. It looks like that's how Beaver Builder operates. I think down here they mentioned that you have an annual license renewal. And it also says that Beaver Builder has limited modules and less customization. So that's why I like Divi. I came from customizing with CSS code. By the way, you can generate that with ChatGPT. We're going to do a little bit of code in the next example. But I feel like Divi gives you the access to the most amount of CSS styles. All the other builders have some kind of limitations when it comes to the ways that you can style the different modules. So if you're not thrilled with your current theme, go to ChatGPT and ask some questions, see if you can get more answers. But if you'd like to learn more about Divi, I'll link up a tutorial in the top right. And I'll also put a link to them in the description below. The next thing we're going to do here is generate a WordPress shortcode. Let me paste in the prompt. And here I'm asking to create a WordPress shortcode that lets me insert a Google map with latitude and longitude as the input values. And the beautiful part about ChatGPT is that you can provide the context. You can be very specific and it'll give you a specific answer. So in this case, we're getting PHP code that we can add to our either functions.php file or through a custom plugin. If you'd like to see my tutorial on how to create a plugin where you can add code like this, I'll link that up in the top right. We have a function with these attributes, latitude, longitude, zoom level, width, and height. I didn't even ask for these, but it knows that those are customizable with Google Maps. And then down here, this is where the Google Maps URL is constructed. Now, this is using Google Maps API. You can likely simplify this just to use a public uh, Google Maps URL as opposed to the API. And then this is the declaration, the WordPress function add shortcode, which makes the Google Map shortcode work within your WordPress posting page. And as I mentioned before, you want to get specific with this. You know, it might not give you the best answer the first time, and you can ask follow-up questions in order to get a better answer. Next up, we're going to get a little more specific. So I work mostly with home contractors. So I want to get ideas for how they can improve their business. You can use this as a way to develop services potentially. So on this prompt, I'm saying act as an expert in service business marketing and lead generation. Provide targeted and actionable advice to a roofing business owner who's struggling with generating leads and marketing their services effectively. Your advice should include proven techniques for attracting customers, promoting services, and converting prospects into paying customers. And now we're getting some ideas here. So number one, optimize your website. These are all pretty basic recommendations. Number two, local SEO strategy. Three, content marketing. They're recommending pay-per-click ads on Google Ads and Facebook. And the last handful here are offline recommendations, referral program, networking, local partnerships. I think you're going to realize that you're not going to get some secret answer here, but it does give you a lot of good ideas to work with in a much more compact, concise form relative to having to go to Google and figure out all this stuff and figure out what sources to get this information from. And the last example I'm going to go through today, which by the way, I have a cheat sheet that has 13 of these prompts. I only picked a handful from this. 
if you want to grab that in the description below. I had a client that wanted to stay active on Facebook. They were doing it themselves, but they're not really a computer person. So they didn't want to deal with going to Facebook all the time and writing these posts up. They were doing very generic posts. AI can do it better than they could, no doubt. So this is the prompt that I provided, and I just swapped out all the details. So I'm asking to write 20 social media posts for a local landscaping company. And then I provide details about their business. I got the business name, Ray's Lawn Care, the service area, the year it was started. If you want to put in, you know, licenses, certifications, associations that they're part of, anything like that, you can add in these details. And then I provide a bullet list of topics, yard maintenance, weeding, guarding beds, mowing lawn, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have the format, one to two sentences long, friendly and conversational, includes seasonal references. So this is going to give us 20 social media posts. If we're doing one a week, you're basically done a third of the year <laughs> in just a couple of seconds here. Since I specified the social media format, you can see that they're adding in hashtags at the end of these. But, you know, this is your social media proposal and work pretty much done for you. And all you got to do is just customize it a little bit and plan it out. Now, wouldn't you know, I also have a Divi landscaping template that I built, which you can buy for, I think it's $17 on my website. If you are a Divi user and you want to just get this template that's done for you for a local lawn company, you're pretty much set up with digital marketing. You got a website form, you got a social media plan, and any other questions that can arise, you can figure out by doing a little bit of research with ChatGPT and spending a little time learning some more advanced stuff with WordPress, code, whatever it may be. If this gave you some ideas or made you curious to go and use ChatGPT, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up. Always helps with the algorithm. If you got any questions or creative uses on how you use ChatGPT to solve a problem, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get any future tutorials. And one last reminder that I do have that cheat sheet with the 13 ChatGPT prompts, including the ones that we went through today and a bunch of others in the description below. Appreciate you watching this video, and I'll link up a few other tutorials here if you want to keep on learning.